What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next Duel Links video. Today, we're going to be hopping into the KC Cup, which I didn't even know was creeping up on us, but hopefully over the next three days, we'll have all KC Cup duels coming at you guys with maybe your decks that you've submitted using the hashtag deck check. Hashtag deck check. D-E-C-K-C-H-E-C-K -E -E on Twitter. Uh, today, we're going to be doing one that was submitted by a, a, a Twitter user named Mr. TR Gaming. Nope, didn't miss didn't misspell that on my end. It's gaming. But thank you so much for this deck you submitted. This is focusing on the new gears. Remember we were doing the box opening yesterday and I said, "Hey, I think gears might be the new archetype that's budget and pretty good." And that's what uh Mr. Gaming, Mr. T, uh kind of hooked us up with here. First of all, I have to say I've slept on this card for too long. I'm going to be using this card in a lot of decks upcoming because this card is ridiculously good. I did not realize how good this card was because it gains 500 attack and then it'll gain it's a whole attack into its defense. So like there's so many different cards that commas with, uh, especially with Stally Protecty decks. That's really, really good. Uh, really, really good. I'm gonna go with Maha Valley, honestly. Like it's solid. Anyway, like re you can Oko with Maha Valley. It's, I don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, this is gonna be focusing on the Girgias. I'm just gonna call them by their other names. I don't know how to pronounce Girgia if I'm pronouncing it right or whatever, but this is the attacker. Two of these in this deck. Once per turn, you can change this card face down defense system. When this card is flipped face up, you can destroy any number of spell or trap cards on the field up to the number of gear gear monsters you control. So uh, that's basically what gear gears do. They, they, a lot of the good effects, like for example, this effect and this effect right here, the anchor, uh, it does the same thing except it destroys monsters. So you have the attacker, which gets rid of the back row and you have the anchor, which gets rid of the monsters. Now it's possible that Mr. TR was only running two of these because he only has two of them. That's totally possible. Uh, but we're going to run it exactly like this because I've actually been finding success. If I was going to take out a card, it would probably be uh, the Arsenal, I guess. And I think this is new. Being able to zoom in like this, I think is new. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'd rather see the card personally with the effect. But the effect is down there. So, huh, I might have just changed my mind. Anyway, I really like this for now because I'm a creature of habit. This is the Accelerator. Accelerator says if you control a Gear Gear Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can grab one Gear Gear Monster from your grave, except for the Accelerator, and add it to your hand. So it replaces itself, it special summons itself, to, so you can go plus more on these effects. Um, like I said, this is the monster version of Speed. Then we have Arsenal. Arsenal gains 200 attack for each Gear Gear Monster on the field, not each other. So this starts out at 17, and actually can go up to 2100 if your field is full. You can tribute this card to specimen one gear gear monster from your deck in defense position. So if you want to grab one of these, you totally can. Then he was playing one Gaia power to buff all of these boys, uh, their attack points. You have triple econ, one wall of disruption, one spike shield with chain, one curse of Anubis, one windstorm of Taqua, and one faint plan. So a lot of one ofs on the trap lineup, which is cool. I like that. We're running switcheroo with bandit Keith because you want to fish for cards you need. You don't really need too many combo pieces to go in with this deck. So we're gonna try to do five duels in the KC Cup today. Uh, I did a few, you guys can see, I got up to rank 11. I started at rank 10 in the KC Cup. So I've only been dueling with this deck right now. I think I did four duels. I lost the first one and won the next three. And I think that got me the rank up, I'm not sure. I'm not completely positive, forgive me. I have like this cut on the inside of my cheek and it's making it really, really difficult to speak. So I might be a little bit, a little bit more reserved in this episode. Uh, and for the next couple days, because this cut is probably not going anywhere. You guys can see we open up with Anchor and we open up with Accelerator. So I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys. I'm going to show you guys what do. I'm going to show you guys what do. So we're going first. So I'm going to set Anchor. And I'm going to set Econ. So the dream. <clears throat> the dream is that if this was Attacker, we could actually normal summon arsenal next turn special summon accelerator and pop two back row because it's not attacker we cannot do that uh, but what we can do is we can pop a monster that he that he brings out if he brings out a big old monster we'll be good to go no extra deck uh we're gonna see the jasmine in attack mode which most likely means we're gonna see the aroma garden right here uh fortunately probably gonna have to activate aroma garden first which is kind of bad for us because he's going to draw a card. Now he'll get an extra summon up. If he goes for the Berg, we'll be in great shape. If he tributes this Jasmine right now, we're in great shape. Uh, I would be super pumped if that was the case. Okay, going to tribute the Jasmine. This is awesome. This is perfect. Uh, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to target this with Econ. 
Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's econ it up. We're going to switch you to defense mode. I do have the voice lines off right now because I was... um. I can turn off my opponent's taunts. I'm keeping them on. I'm keeping them on. There we go. I need those voices back. Okay, so first we're going to summon the arsenal. We actually don't even need to summon Accelerator. This is it. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to flip summon. Oh! Oh, I thought you were DCing. So we're going to activate Anchor because Anchor says, hey, go ahead and destroy uh, monsters up to the number of monsters you control. So you only have to do one. You don't have to do two. Uh, this guy must have a pretty bad connection. He gains a thousand. Uh, and what are we going to do here? Let's go ahead. I'm tempted to not even swing. Actually, you know what? We're going to go for it. We're just going to swing with these boys. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to use my accelerator yet because I don't like special summoning accelerator until I have at least one of my gears in the grave. If I have it in the grave, then it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Because I can summon this, and then if I either e-contribute it, or if I uh, go ahead and get destroyed, I get to add a monster back in the hand. However, if I have this out on the field, then there's a chance my opponent's going to attack it first before I get my value. So we're going to see another Jasmine in attack mode. Uh, never never going to be able to get... <clears throat> never going to be able to get the... Uh, the extra summon, because you're not going to have more life points than me. That's why I ended up deciding to go ahead and go for both. Now, we are going to see that had we gotten the attacker last turn, we'd be in really solid shape right now. But we didn't, so we're not in super solid shape. However, uh, I do have the option of... Ooh. I have pretty cute possibilities right here. I'll never be able to truly get rid of that back row right now. So I think I'm just going to destroy Jasmine. Yeah, we're just going to destroy Jasmine. We're going to go ahead and activate Anchor. See if he can chain anything. Can't chain anything right now, so it's probably a wall disruption. Let's get rid of Jasmine. Of course, he's going to get another 1,000 life points. <clears throat> but now what I'm going to do, let's see. I'll bring him down to 1,500, so we'll still be beneath him. We're going to go ahead and tribute Arsenal. Uh, and let's special summon attacker in defense position. Now I'm pretty sure I can flip this face down, but I won't be able to flip summon it because I special summoned it this turn. So we can't we can't special summon it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go for an attack and see if this is about to be a wall of disruption. Because that's what I'm kind of thinking. I decided to go ahead and oh, it's a draining shield. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Uh, gonna be able to gain. More life points than me. He's already gone through two Jasmines, though. He's gone through two Jasmines, which is really nice for us. We have the Econ to protect attacker, and we should be good to go. This is a very control -y deck. This deck is super, super about control, but it's not as slow, which is cool. We might see an Econ play here. We might see Econ Tribute Rose Lover. No. Okay, I think... Oh, Super Rush. Okay, never mind. I can still econ you, man. And I guess it's worth econing you. Yeah, it's pretty much worth econing you. Because we'll save this. We'll get to get rid of Aroma Garden next turn. You should scoop this up, boys. We didn't need to save that, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, we, now we have an extra 1400 attack. We can go ahead and flip summon attacker. We're going to activate attacker and pop the aroma garden. Then we'll go ahead and activate anchor. Get a face down, flip it up. We'll activate anchor. Let's destroy that rose lover. We will normal summon. Do not special summon it because we're going for a game right here. We have 1,400. We'll turn this off for now. Ooh, do you have a Sphere Karibo? Let's see. You might, have a, you might have a Sphere Karibo in your hand. 
No, Sphere Kareeba. All right, the game was just going a little slow. Uh, and we have ourselves our first W of the day. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Now, this deck, Mr. Mr. TM, Mr. TR, said that he used this to get the King of Games super easy. Uh, so if you're looking for a cheap budget deck that apparently is King of Games worthy, go for it, go for it. Uh, counters to this deck, once again, Divine, Divine Wrath. Uh, really, really poops on this deck. If you get one solid Divine Wrath off, uh, you're probably, you're probably home scot-free. Monster effects are just, they are the wave right now, ladies and gentlemen, they are the wave. Here we go, we actually have the Gaia Earth, which is cool, but we don't have a single way to protect our cards. And we're gonna see a 25 card deck, a 30 card deck, 29 card deck on my opponent's side of the field with two extra cards. Don't know what he's running. But I'm gonna risk the biscuit here. I don't know what else to do. Um, we didn't get any of our defensive cards. Middle age mechs. Okay, and that's one reason why I really wanted to get a summon off in case you were running middle age mechs. Five cards in hand, 29 card deck. Are you actually gonna get the nuts? That's the question. Unfortunately, our Gaia power is gonna buff his ancient gears as well. Super unfortunate. Triple castle, that's great news for us. Except it's not because Ancient Gear Knight is gonna be all over the place. Wow. He opened up with Double Gear Castle. Uh, double Gear Castle. If we get an Econ, we win this turn. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's just set this and end our turn. If he has the big gear, he wins. If he has the big gear, he wins. 100% of the time. Uh, yeah, really unfortunate. These buff him by 300 each, and then this buffs him by 500. And he does have some big boy. He's got he's got the gear beast right there. So he has game. There's no reason in the world. Okay. Uh, I guess there is a reason because you do shut off that effect, right? Oh no, you don't shut it off. It looks like. Huh. Yeah, you do fizzle it. Okay, I was gonna say, you should shut it off. All right, so here's the play, ladies and gentlemen. We draw, not wall disruption. That would be the worst card, and that's like, that's crazy, that's what I drew. All right, let's go ahead, let's switch it up. That's gonna be the game. It happens though, it happens though. Uh, didn't see any of my Econs. Econ would have won me the game the turn prior. He would have lost immediately, which would have been fantastic. Uh, but them's the breaks. 29 card deck, too strong. Too strong for me. In no way I'm going about it. Ain't no possible way. Win up, win up. Win to level up. There we go. I meant to change the sleeves and the mat on this deck, darn it. Okay, so we open up a anchor and an accelerator, which is fine, because we have wall disruption and econ. However, my opponent is playing Mako, they're playing Umi, they could be playing um, Sea Stealth Attack, be very dangerous for us. They could be playing Flying Fish, which is also very dangerous for this deck. Okay, Warrior of Atlantis, that means we are going to see uh, a lot of Garbaggio, if you ask me. Oh man, what are we gonna do then? Okay, no sea stealth attack yet, so that's really good for us. Uh, we could just go for game. You guys ready for the cheese plays? We are, we are cheesing it up, boys. And this is one of the reasons why this deck is honestly super scary because it's very controlling. And it's also very like, uh, I can kill you in one turn with just an Econ. And that's gonna be an Oko, baby. That's gonna be an Oko. One turn kill, an Ot, an Otake. Otake! That's three duels, that's three duels. Chalk it up, chalk it up. I'm messing up, I'm messing up my beard right now. You guys can judge me, it's fine. Judge me for my beard. That's all that happens when I'm on the internet. I get judged while I get so wet. That's weird. Okay, going in for duel number four. Big Mac! 
I just be Big Mac. So yeah, if you see that opportunity, if you open up Econ and then basically any two monsters and your opponent ever does that, where they don't set up their defenses. I mean, if you had Sea Stealth Attack, I lose that duel. So it's not even an impressive win. It's just like, wow, man, it happens in card games. And if you're playing card games, you have to accept that that happens. We have Golden Sleeves and Golden Mats Dino Kingdom. I have not versed dinosaurs yet. This deck loves going first. If this deck goes first, it does so much better. Uh, since it's not going first right now, it is not doing so much better. But you guys can see right here, bam, this is 1900 attack uh, arsenal. I think we'll be in pretty good shape. We get to go second, which means even though I like to go first, we get an extra card, which is nice, which is pretty darn nice. Man, this cut inside my mouth is brutal. I gotta, I gotta put something on it. Let's see. Sets three back row. Oh my goodness! And you have a hydro get in. So. We will be able to maybe survive. We don't really have to worry about um, We don't have to worry about too much right now. Like if he floodgates me right here, that's a little problematic. Okay. A little problematic. Nothing too crazy. Okay, nothing nothing too insane. We're gonna set three back row as well. If he has straight flush, he wins, obviously. We'll just we'll scoop it up. But no one's really running that right now. Because we have Spike Shield with Chain, we have Curse of Anubis, we have a lot of different things going on. I draw a card. I don't think you can activate Spike Shield with Chain in the damage step, right? I'm pretty sure. We're gonna find out. Actually, I'm not really gonna be able to find out. Huh. I wonder if it's just worth. It's worth finding out right now, I think. You're in for a okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to... Is it worth finding out? Yeah, it's worth finding out. Battle step, give me in that damage step. Oh, it is the damage step. No! So it, the damage step is all when it's face down. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, sweet. Okay. Back into the diamond step we go. Let's go ahead and target this bad boy. So we're going to gain 500 attack. And then also it should go to 2700 defense. There we go. Bam. So essentially, my opponent can never get over this, which is really cool. Well, not never. My opponent needs to get 2700 attack in order to get over this, which is pretty hardcore. He's like, he's reading Spike Shield with Chain shaking in his boots right now. He's super upset. Okay, so here's the thing we can do. Never mind, this is better. This is even better. Let's go ahead and normal summon our, our arsenal. Okay. He potentially, he was thinking about floodgating me there. He was definitely thinking about floodgating me there. I could either go for the attack. No, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to straight up grab an attacker. These back rows need to go. These back rows need to go. So we're going to get, we're going to get attacker right here. You're going to floodgate me. Okay. Uh, let's just activate the effect. Okay. Before he has a card in hand, he can divine wrath me. Then let's go ahead and end our turn. So next turn, we should, in theory, be able to pop two of his back row. In theory. I'm glad we drew this other arsenal so I didn't have to go ahead and just pop this one because this is a really bulky guy right now. Okay, he's got Sergeant Electro. That's actually terrifying. Okay, let's see what he, let's see what he targets. Okay, we have to activate Curse of Anubis. Change all... Uh, we have to Curse of Anubis. Because this, fortunately, Curse of Anubis says, hey, you're not changing your battle positions. So, guaranteeing that this thing is going to live. It still might get floodgated, don't get me wrong. 
Attacker might get floodgated. Okay, faint plan will be really solid for us, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go for the. Am I gonna normal summon? It depends. Am I gonna go in this turn? I think I have to try to go in. All right, let's do this. Let's go for the normal summon. See if you floodgate me. Okay. Activate attacker. Yes, we'll activate attacker. So it looks like attacker is gonna pop off no matter what. Uh, and we're gonna go for back rest. As much as I don't like your Hydrodagon getting buffed, uh, let's pop you. And let's pop you. What do we pop? We pop the Super Rush and a Mirror Wall. Okay. He has something that's still chainable. Most likely a Mirror Wall or an Econ. What I'm gonna do, because if he hits the Faint Plan, I can trigger it. He hits the Wall of Disruption, that's pretty bad for us. Okay, we know it's we know he doesn't have wall of disruption though. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's try to get rid of this uh this Sergeant Electro. Super rush. Okay. It's worst case scenario for us. Yes, I will activate Accelerator in my graveyard because I tributed off an arsenal before. Really, really solid, obviously. Replaces itself mostly. Um, and now that was on this. I can still destroy this monster. So that's not that's not the worst turn in the world for us. It's not the worst. If it was a mirror wall, it would have been worse. So I'm glad we hit that mirror wall. Now, hopefully... He forgets about Spike Shield and Chain and attacks me. But well, we've already seen two super, two super Rushes gone. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to have another to pop off right now. We're in fine shape. Here I go. I now we're not in fine shape. Position. Now that was like the worst thing that could have happened for us. Battle. Definitely. Uh, 100%. Darn it, man. Gonna stop ya. That sucks. Doesn't even buff it, because he knew he hit the nuts. Doesn't even buff it. It's okay, though. Because we can attack the Sergeant Electro. Ooh! All these arsenals. <clears throat> we'll go with the one we top decked. Actually, that was a dumb, dumb mistake. Um, I could tribute this. Really, no point. Let's get rid of this Sergeant Electro here. Wow, this is a duel and a half, boys. This is a duel and a half. As long as he doesn't draw another Sergeant Electro, we should be pretty golden. Because then all we need to do is bide one more turn, get another... Um... Okay, he doesn't draw a Sergeant Electro. That's really good for us. Really, really good for us. Look at this. He still can't get over. Well, yeah, he still... Even if he banishes two monsters, he can't get over this arsenal. He would If he started last turn, he would be able to get over it. But I have, I have wall disruption anyway. He's done, though. He's playing around another spike and shield, but he's not going to play around the wall disruption. Here we go. That's going to be the game right there. Not like right, right here, but this this seals the deal. He's got nothing left. Nothing left on the field. He takes 1750 there. Might as well just attack uh, with his 600 into my 1900. If he's a if he's a man of culture, that's what he does. Oh no! Oh no! The DC. You guys see that up here? That's new. The DC. He closes out, boys. Losing to Gear yes. Losing away. I just scratched my scab super bad. All right, we'll just take we'll take an empty sip of water because I'm running out. Down it goes. Down it goes. How long are you gonna take, man? How long of a DC are you gonna take? Huh? You tell me. You tell me. Play review. You tell me. How long? How long? We're going back. I like the top down. I'm a fan of the top down. Waiting for a response. Wow, this is a this is a really good one. Really, really good one. There we go. Get fossilized, fool. Get fossilized.
All right, we're going in for one more. That was our fourth duel. We're going in for one more. We are three and one with this deck from Mr. T. Ob. All these gems coming our way after the fact, after we poured our wallet into this new pack. That's fine, we'll just save them for the next one. This game's not going anywhere. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. They keep releasing these new decks that are um, pretty darn good. I feel like Geargeas, I don't think they outclass aliens. Maybe they do? Like, maybe they win that matchup, but I don't think like they have more good matchups than other. For example, like, once again, Hazies. I can't pop Hazies with this. I can pop their back row, but I can't pop Hazies. Okay, so once again, open up with an anchor, but no attacker. We're going second again. All about secondaries, man. I'm all about secondaries, I guess. I guess, I don't know. It's what it seems to be. Bum, 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 There we go. How did you lose, man? How did you lose? For serious. I just don't get how in the world you lost that duel. Makes very little sense to me. Very little sense. All right. So we got a free win there. We're going to go in for an actual final duel. I'm not trying to rob you guys of a duel because of this nonsense. Players that just don't want to move even a little bit. Even a little tiny baby bit. My Valentine. You are my Valentine. Literally. Okay. Win and we'll level up. That's what I like to see. Win and we will level up. Harpy's hunting ground. I'm Ryle, dude. Um, We're going to set this. This is nerve wracking. I'm gonna set two. I'm gonna set two and hope that you don't have Harpy's Dancer. Because if you summon a Harpy, that's fine. And you pop one of these, I'll just trigger it. I'll just trigger it. That's fine. And then we just have to draw a Gear Gear Monster. If we draw a Gear Gear Monster, we'll be golden. We'll be able to pop that Harpy and go in for a little while. There's Harpy's Hunting Ground out the gate. Out the gate. I'm really excited to see this card back in play. And it's Harpy Dancer. Worst case scenario for us. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's very cool. Should have activated it no matter what. That was a silly play. I'm just so convinced that she's going to bounce Harpy Dancer that it doesn't matter. Wow. This is gonna, this is gonna ruin, this is gonna ruin my good time. That's for sure. Uh, the only thing that wouldn't ruin my good time. There's nothing. There's nothing that won't ruin my good time. If she sets no back row. Cause she went Harpy Dancer, Harpy Dancer. So she probably doesn't have another Harpy card. Maybe she has Double Dancer in her hand. I mean, she's gonna have a back row. Yeah, there we go. There's that back row. There's that back row. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this anyway. We do draw an anchor. So I'm gonna hard summon this anchor right here. Hard summon anchor. Go. So it could be a floodgate. Could be a floodgate. We're gonna activate anchor. But it could also just be an econ. If it's econ, we would have seen it right there. Okay. It's not econ. Now there's no triggering. So it's something for your side of the field, really? I'm just gonna go for damage. Okay, we got 3,600 damage in there, boys. No reason. I'm not trying to set one of these bad boys right now. I'm not trying to set one of these. Sets a second face down. Summons Harp Sky Scout. Sky Scout has been summoned. So we have to go ahead and use Windstorm. You might think it's wall because they never asked me if I wanted to use Windstorm. Windstorm like can be used anytime, but they didn't they haven't asked me yet. So he he was he was debating on if it's gonna be wall of disruption. He decided to go for it regardless. That's fine. Um has econ he tributes takes and attacks, that would suck, but he doesn't. Cool. Alright, we draw Gaia. Okay, I'm not even gonna play Gaia yet. There's no reason for me to play it. I don't want to reveal that information that I don't have anything else in my hand. That would just be a sill sill. 
Oh, uh, the good news is now she had, like, whoo, good, get out of here. Oh no. The, the, the good news is, is that my opponent would have to draw Cyber Harpy Lady in order to really beat me right now. Flip this face up, we'll activate Anchor. And the question is, do I want to play around Wall of Disruption? There's no reason to play around Wall of Disruption specifically because we will have Gaia. So I'm going to play Gaia, see if she can chain anything. She can chain something. Because now even Wall of Disruption bringing down to 16, I would have had 400 attack points no matter what. Like, even prior. I'm not playing around Wall, I'm not playing around Windstorm. Or Curse of Anubis. If she has any of those, she lives another turn. If she doesn't, she loses. If she has Econ, and she didn't e e Econ take anyway, she deserves to lose. In my opinion. And it worked out perfectly for her, because I would have drawn Gaia and been like, oh, wow, I have nothing for this. What do you have? Show me. Yeah. Woo, we go 4-1 today. I am happy with that. Thank you so much for submitting this deck. Game miming. I appreciate it, Mr. TR. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below for the cut in my lip. Let's try to cross 777 likes and hit subscribe if you haven't already. We'll back again tomorrow with more Duel Links. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady.